Hey, what's up guys? And welcome back to Albright's Harley Davidson Garage. So we are just now pulling uh, the Road King back up here at the shop. We are just now getting back from our uh, road trip to the beach. We had about a four hour ride and this bike performed beautifully. So no complaints there. Uh, owe a lot of the comfortability to the new uh, Mustang seat and the Harley Davidson wind splitter, which we have right here. I just got done taking this off the bike. Uh, it's not something I ride with all the time, just whenever we take uh, road trips and go at 80, 85 uh, miles an hour, you definitely need some type of wind protection uh, for the bike. So over here on the table, uh, we've got some new parts that we're gonna be installing on the bike uh, for this build specifically. We've got two new windshields here. We've got the 20 inch on the left and the 18 inch on the right. Both of these windshields are from Freedom Shields. So I just wanna say shout out to you guys. Um, if you guys are not familiar with Freedom Shields, head over to the website and check them out. I will add their website in the description of the video. Also some other parts that we have here. We have the Redshift. 468 cam uh, this is from zippers performance we've also got the sns quickie push rods in black we've got our gaskets here we've got some more gaskets we've got our cam bearings we've got our tappet covers these are from harley davidson we went ahead and got the black ones just to help black out the bike we've also got the sns tappet cuffs here uh, the ones that come on the bike, uh, stock or plastic, these are a good thick metal. It's really going to help out in the higher RPM ranges. Uh, once you're putting more uh, pressure and uh, expecting more performance out of your bike, you got to give your bike what it needs uh, in order to get that performance. We've also got the fueling uh, lifters here, which are going to help out a lot. Uh, you don't necessarily have to change out your lifters whenever you do a cam swap, uh, but it's highly recommended. So this is some of the stuff we have for our uh, cam change out, cam upgrade. And again, we've got the uh, Redshift 468 cam. Uh, all this stuff's gonna go on the Milwaukee 8. It's a 2019 Road King Special. And in case you guys are following our Silverado build as well, we've got the blacked out bow ties. These are from GM, so these aren't the cheap uh, knockoff ones. And you can tell on these from the little plastic tabs here uh, that pop out. So I went with uh, a couple of different options. Uh, once I got them in, they just did not stick onto the truck. So I'm hoping I have uh, some better luck with these. We've also got the uh, Ronin factory. This is the 50 cal antenna. So we're gonna try that out. Um, also, we have the uh, backrest. This is for the Mustang seat. I had to do a little uh, fabrication on that with this bolt here. I'm gonna eventually cut it down. Uh, some type this week. I just had to get that backrest pushed forward a little bit more uh, than the stock bolt allowed. We've also got our phone case here. Picked this up on Amazon, and this is what goes with the uh, Ciro Cyber Charger here. In order to do the uh, wireless charging, you have to have a QI compatible uh, wireless charging case, which is what this is, and we do have it on the phone right now. Also, we've got the drag specialties, uh, clutch and brake cable clamps here. So we're gonna be getting those on the bike. We've got our Ciro drink holder. I uh, put that on the bike before we left for the trip and also the cyber charger. So give you guys a look at that real quick. We've got the cyber charger uh, installed with the black perch mount. Uh, this thing works amazing uh, no complaints with this whatsoever got a full vis uh install video coming out about this as you can see we've got our uh, cables running down our handlebars just kind of uh, zip tied up by our dyno jet we did leave some slack in here uh, once we turn the handlebars we routed the cable uh, up under the tank dash it goes all the way down here and plugs straight into the battery so these are some of the new upgrades and videos that we're going to be doing on the channel i'm getting a lot of messages on instagram people curious we've also got our uh 
Ciro cup holder here. I just use this for uh, my vape or drink or whatnot, anything <clears throat> you just want to have easy access to. You've also got the new uh, Harley Davidson Speedo and Tech. We got it in black and the miles per hour version. You've got our flush mount uh, fuel cap and fuel gauge with the blue LEDs. Shows up on this side. So we've got a bunch of stuff uh, that we've done to the bike and we still got a lot of stuff uh, that we're going to be uh, videoing for y'all. So if you guys are not following our YouTube channel, uh, make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button. Check out some of our other videos that we've already got up. We still have several videos we're going to be bringing to y'all. We've also got our Arlen Nest 90 degree uh, naked monster sucker here. I still haven't dropped the video on that. I've got it filmed, just have to get it edited. We've also got the new Vance and Hines uh, power dual head pipe. Still waiting on the tab performance. Four and a half inch bam sticks with the zombie baffle. I did talk to uh, tab performance today and they said mine should be shipping out either uh, by the end of this week or beginning of next week. So we still probably got uh, two weeks to go on that, which is pretty disappointing because I've already been waiting six weeks now. So if you guys are interested in ordering a set of those, you better go ahead and get your order in now. So uh, you'll probably be waiting till sometime in July at least before you actually get them. So anyways, before we go, this is our hardware here. Uh, this is what you're going to need for these windshields. Freedom Performance, they only send you the shield, the replacement shield. They don't send you guys the hardware. So you've got to make sure you wear this as well. I got mine on eBay. I'm just not paying, you know, whatever that Harley price was. It's just outrageous. Um, but in order to get that, once you get that black set that I just showed y'all, you still have to get uh, this piece here. So this chrome piece, you're also going to need this. So just because you order the shield from Freedom Shields and you order that black kit from eBay uh, doesn't mean you're going to have everything you need. You're definitely going to have to have this piece as well. So I just happen to have one from my uh, uh, Harley Davidson wind splitter. So once I uh, get one of these on the bike to try them out, I'm going to have to take uh, the chrome piece off of this one. And then that's what's going to... Uh, attach these to it so just make sure you guys know that i really didn't uh know that whenever i ordered this i just figured uh this kit was gonna have everything but turns out it didn't so anyways we got a bunch of stuff coming to the channel make sure you head over to our instagram at albright's harley davidson garage and our tiktok at albright's harley davidson garage as well so Appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see y'all on the next video.